Feeding the needy with Olympics excess. Welcome back to Good News Next Week, everybody. I'm James Evan Pilato for MediaMonarchy.com. We've got that story, plus divesting from evil. But first, companies can't legally void warranty for jailbreaking or rooting your phone. After Motherboard published an article about how electronics manufacturers like Microsoft and Sony illegally void the warranties of consumers who open their devices, Motherboard got a flood of emails from people wondering whether federal law protects their right to jailbreak their phone. The short answer is yes, it does. Under the Magnuson Moss Warranty Act of 1975, manufacturers cannot legally void your hardware warranty simply because you altered the software of an electronic device. In order to void the warranty without violating federal law, the manufacturer must prove that the modifications you made directly led to a hardware malfunction. In practice, of course, it's all much more complicated, as many things are. And that's why we leave everything we say and play in the show notes down below. And we hope that you'll always follow the links and go do more research for yourself. And our first set of stories all come from Twitter user at Ray Vahey, and they are all tech related. He also tweeted out the maker of web monitoring software can be sued in court, the Web Watcher lawsuit. Of course, we'll have broader implications for employee monitoring and software as a service. Also, from now on, you'll be able to access NASA research. For free. Our cover story on this week's Good News Next Week comes from our buddy Brock West, and he tweeted out a few other hashtag Good News Next Week stories as well. Chef feeds Rio's homeless with excess Olympic food. Italian master chef Massimo Bottura, using leftover ingredients from Olympic caterers and other local partners, created a gourmet soup kitchen called Refetto Rio Gastromotiva that served world-class meals to Rio's homeless population. The name is a play on the Latin word refacere, meaning to restore. With questions swirling over the $12 billion price tag of South America's first Olympics, Botura wanted to make a statement about the game's sustainability by taking on one of the symbols of Olympic waste. The more than 230 tons of food supplied daily to prepare 60,000 meals for athletes, coach, and staff. We've got a video you can learn a little bit more about Massimo Batura's food for the homeless made out of Olympics waste. And some of the other stories Brock West tweeted, bee harming pesticides declining at plant nurseries. And our longtime media monarchy friend and supporter Morgan Lesko at Wiki World Order has some shots from his own Victory Garden. And we love to see shots from your Victory Garden as well using hashtag Food World Order or Good News Next Week. Our final story on this good news next week for the week of August 22nd, 2016. Again, I'm James Evan Blotto for MediaMonarchy.com. We created Good News Next Week sort of as the spinoff from New World Next Week, where all through 2015, every episode of New World Next Week had at least one Good News Next Week story. So now in 2016, I've tried to take that one step further and create weekly episodes of ways that we are winning. Berkeley divests from torture profiteer G-Force. In a resolution approved by the Berkeley City Council on July 19th, the city will be called on to divest from private prison corporations and request that its business partners, like super banking giant Wells Fargo, do the same. The resolution targets major players in the U.S.'s private prison industry, including the GEO Group, the Corrections Corporation of America, CCA, and of course G4S, G-Force, one of the largest corporations in the world and provides security services inside U.S. prisons. The corporation has been a longtime target of the Palestinian-led boycott, divestment, and sanctions campaign. Even the United Methodist Church and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation have a divested from G4. So when characters like that are pulling their funds and support, you know, something's up. So this is something actually we talked about a couple of years ago on New World Next Week. Actually, two years ago this very week on August 21st, 2014. Do not buy list could leave Portland with no options for corporate investment. And that was a story I discovered right here in Portland where one of the city councilors and commissioners, Steve Novick, was pushing for the city of Portland not to make any money off of places like Coca-Cola or Walmart. Fantastic in practice. In Portland, it plays out that that means we still are wildly supported by places like Nike and Intel, even though for public relations, we can act like we're not down with Walmart because there's not one in the city limits. 
look at what your city might make money off of. That's another way that you can really look at what's going on in your town, like we've talked about on the Morning Monarchy shows, when we're talking Food World Order news. Are they spraying Roundup in your city parks and government buildings? And that's a great way that you can take some action and show that probably they are, and that probably they shouldn't. So, also, as far as Portland goes, I know they hire G-Force all the time to provide security at the public transportation at TriMet, it's called here. And usually it's at times of heightened national security because of some latest terror manufactured event. A couple other headlines we're using from hashtag good news next week. Federal court bans government from prosecuting medical marijuana users and growers. We discussed this on a recent Morning Monarchy, the August 17th edition. And again, everything we say in play included in the show notes. We do a morning show, a morning news show called The Morning Monarchy every Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific time. You can listen live at mediamonarchy.com slash listen or any other time via the feed or your favorite way to listen via your feed catcher. We also do a daily DJ set at noon. We call Pump Up the Volume at 12 p.m. Pacific time. Same place, mediamonarchy.com slash listen. We live stream a live DJ set from the Media Monarchy Studios right here in Portland, Oregon. And we can only be listener-supported media since 9-11-2005 with your support at mediamonarchy.com slash support, PayPal, Patreon, Bitcoin, and Post Office Box. As I say, if you can give a little, we can give a lot. We'd love to hear your good news at hashtag good news next week. Or if you've not fallen into the social media traps and you've made it this far, we applaud you for not doing it. And you can always just reach out via email, james at mediamonarchy.com. This has been your Good News Next Week for the week of August 22nd, 2016. I am James Evan Pilato of MediaMonarchy.com reminding you, as always, my friends, don't hate the media, become the media. Take care.